Hello friends, welcome to Tech Tips tutorial. From this video onwards, we are going to learn about hacking. So if you are going to follow this whole tutorial, then you need to install Kali Linux in your system and get ready for the hacking. So let's uh, start our journey of hacking. Open your uh, terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Next, uh, I am going to save all my files in the directory art of hacking. So I need to change the directory to art of hacking. I can uh, do that by typing cd and directory name. That is cd means change directory. Now I am in my directory art of hacking. Now I am going to write one sim simple C program in programmer's perspective and then in hacker's perspective we are going to see what we want and uh, how we are going to deal with uh, that program so let's uh, write uh, nano let's uh, write our program using nano editor which is the inbuilt text editor so type nano and program uh, file name i am going to save my source file into first proc.c file now uh, nano has been opened so let's write hash include stdio.h we are going to use uh, some function from this library so we need to include this library next we are going to write include uh, main method because all compilers start compiling from main method so void main next uh, we are going to use one variable in for loop so we need to declare that variable let's say uh, int i next uh, for loop for i equals to 0 to i is less than 10 i plus plus and uh, for loop syntax is that if you want to use multiple line uh, multiple line instruction then you need to use curly braces but if you want to use only one line uh, in for loop then you can directly type uh, your statement that uh, i'm going to write put s hello friends put s is a function which uh, put uh, that is print uh, output to the terminal now we are done let's close our uh, braces bracket uh, now write it out by pressing Ctrl plus O and then enter then Ctrl plus X to quit uh, this uh, nano editor now we are out of nano editor let's compile our uh, first proc.c so to compile our C program C source file we are going to use GCC compiler which is inbuilt in uh, Linux system if you don't have uh, you can install it uh, gcc first probe dot c if i only write G, uh, gcc first probe dot c this will uh, compile our program into a default file named as a dot out let's see uh, ls minus l a dot out see here that here that file is now uh, what if uh, we want our output in our uh, own uh, desired file then we can type gcc first probe dot c and then minus o that is output file output it to the file first probe so now our output is in first probe let's see uh, ls minus l first probe see there now clear uh, our screen now we are going to first we are going to run this program right uh, we compiled it uh, using gcc compiler let's run it by typing uh, dot for a slash and program name that is first probe see here that this is the output that is 10 times uh, hello friends uh, this was in hacker this was in programmer's perspective but in hackers perspective we are not concerned only about uh, output we are concerned about what goes inside that is how cpu handles these instructions and how it uh, gives us uh, output so we are going to use object dump command object dump 
if i type uh, directly object dump and file name then it will dump whole object but we want to disassemble our uh, compiled uh, file so object dump minus j that is disassemble first probe see that this is the output of object dump which is very large but uh, let's uh, focus on small part of it so let's uh, grip it out object dump minus d first probe pipe it to the grip uh, command grip minus a20 that is we want uh, next 20 line after main main period call see here that uh, this is the output of uh, object dump in output we can see that uh, most of the part is in hexadecimal format because uh, cpu uses uh, cpu uses memory and all instructions and all everything happens uh, in memory so see here that uh, this is the hexadecimal uh, address of our main and these are the hexadecimal representation of uh, as, uh, instructions and this is the assembly representation of instruction that is push, move and so on. Assembly instructions are uh, basically formatted uh, as operator, destination, comma, source. See here that uh, uh, this is like move, move is operator. Then this is the destination, comma and source. All instructions in assembly language is like this only. So. Uh, what uh, happens is that uh, these uh, operators that is push move uh, they play with uh, memory uh, they use uh, they operate on source and destination which is basically which plays basically with registers which is uh, cpu's variable so we are going to see what is registers and uh, how this play with registers so for that uh, we are going to use debugger uh, so gdb gdb uh, if we directly type gdb minus and a file name that is first probe see here that uh, it will first uh, print uh, banner but if we want to and to if we want to skip this banner then we can use minus q so first uh, let's uh, quit uh, from gdb by typing quit now we are going to type gdb minus q because we want to skip the that banner so now we are in gdb which uh, is uh, printed without banner now quit it because if uh, let's see if we type directly gdb and we are going to use instructions uh, to uh, play with uh, first book then we won't be able to do that because it is not linked to the or gcc output see here that uh, it says no symbol table is loaded use the file command so quit it and compile our uh, file that is gcc first probe first probe dot c minus o first uh, probe uh, before uh, after gcc type minus g to link it to the gdb so type uh, gcc minus g first probe dot c minus o first probe so now gcc uh, is linked to the gdb and it is compiled uh, uh, our program is compiled into first probe now let's uh, open our gdb gdb minus q and open first probe see uh, now our uh, GDP has been started. Now we can type list that is list uh, to list our program. See here that this is our program of eight lines. Now uh, to debug this program that is to debug at each and every point we can play with uh, this program by pausing and then re resuming and so on. So let's uh, create breakpoint to see what uh, is going inside memory so let's uh, create a breakpoint before main that is we want to stop at main so break main now let's uh, run our program now see that uh, it says starting program program has been started and uh, there is breakpoint at main 
now let's uh, see the registers information at this point at this break point so to see registers information we can type info registers See here that this is the registers information. So first, uh, let's understand uh, what are the uh, these registers and what they do. Uh, so see here that uh, these are the registers A X B X C X D X. These are the registers uh, which is used for general purpose uh, to store information for general purpose. And the next one is R S I that is source index. This is uh, this will store source index, and next is RDI that is destination index. Next is RBP that is base pointer and stack pointer. These two registers are pointer which uh, basically points to the memory address. So this is the base uh, pointer which we will be seeing in uh, our later videos, and this is a uh, stack pointer, and. See next important part is if lags, uh, which uh, contains uh, some bits of lags, uh, which uh, stores uh, means uh, compares uh, values and store uh, comparison output and segmentation output. So uh, this was uh, GDB. By using GDB, we can uh, see our information. We wrote uh, in four registers, right? But we can directly uh, we can write in write it in small format as ir which will print same output which is i means info and r means registers now let's quit so uh, this was uh, how we can see our uh, disassembled uh, means of what goes inside the uh, memory by using gdb and object dump from next video onwards we are going to play with uh, memory by using gdb that is we are going to uh, debug uh, some uh, programs some system programs and we are going to see uh, what goes inside and how we can manipulate uh, memory uh, that is we can manipulate user and uh, information of user and so on we are going to see in it in later videos so this was all uh, for today thank you guys if you like this video Press thumbs up down there and if you want uh, to uh, see more videos like this subscribe to tech tips tutorial thank you